Okay, let's talk about division. And specifically, we're going to be talking about division words or really terminology when we are doing a division problem. So this uh, video, just to be clear, is not how to divide numbers. I have separate videos on this. So if you're thinking that's what this video is, that's not what this is. But when you divide numbers, the numbers involved in a division problem have a certain specific term or um, kind of definition that goes with them. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. There is a specific word that we would call 48 for this particular problem. Same thing with 6 and same thing with 8. So if you know uh, how or what role each one of these numbers is playing in this particular division problem or what we would call these numbers in their various places, put your answer into the comment section. Uh, kind of test to see where you're at. Probably most of us, like 99% of us, learn this way back in elementary school sometime. If you're in ele elementary school, that's great. But a lot of us learn this, and then you just forget this. You're like, as long as I know how to divide, that's all that counts. Well, not so quick. Uh, you do need to remember what these words are because they come up again in algebra and even more advanced mathematics. So um, a lot of people go, oh, yeah, I think it's called this or that. Well, you don't want to confuse this. A lot of people do confuse these terms, okay? And you're going to be asked questions about division and these uh, terms over, um, or vocabulary is going to come up. So we want to make sure you understand. And I'm going to get to this here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And I'll tell you right now, if you're struggling in mathematics, please do not give up. There's absolutely uh, hope for you, okay? All students can be successful in mathematics, but it requires great math instruction. That's clear understandable, and most importantly, comprehensive, i.e., you know, things that are break things down, uh, instruction that breaks things down like, really in nice little steps so everyone can understand. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, there's a ton of them out there, things like the Alex exam, GED, ASVAB, SAT, ACT, maybe a teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, check out my award-winning uh, homeschool courses for middle and high school mathematics. Of course, you can find all this by going to my math help program. You should have great math notes. If you do not, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. And if this little video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. That would be much appreciated, as that definitely helps me out. But uh, let's get into these division words. So I'm going to kind of give you a bit of uh, kind of like a hint, okay? All right, so here is our problem. 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. So this number is being divided by this number, and the answer is this. So let's just kind of review this again real quick. What are the words, the division words, that are going to be associated with these uh, various numbers in their respective places when we're doing this division problem? Now, this is one way we can write division. So you have 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. This would be the same way as this, okay, 48 divided by 6. That would be equal to 8. So this is one way to see it. You can see it this way. Also, you can see it this way. 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. So these are all equivalent ways to write this division problem. But the words um, uh, would not change, okay? So whether it's in this form, this form, or this form, these would not change. Okay, so I'm assuming that you, if you knew the answer, you would go put that into the comment section, but I'm gonna give you a hint, okay? I'm going to actually give you the words, but I'm not gonna tell you where they go, all right? So we'll, of course, I'm gonna tell you here in a second, but here's the words you need to be thinking about. So we have divisor, dividend, and quotient. And I would say maybe 75% of you are like, oh yeah, I remember these words, okay? I remember learning these words for me, uh, it was elementary schools way back, elementary school, way back in the 1970s. That was pretty awesome. I do remember my first grade teacher smoking in class from there in Southern California. That's how it was back in the 70s. It was a lot of fun going to elementary school back in those days. But anyways, um, arithmetic was a big deal. Okay, We had to do a lot of arithmetic. And the teacher would say, hey, find the quotient. Okay, What is the dividend? Okay, what is the, uh, the divisor? And if you don't know what these are, you can't answer these questions. Okay, and this is also, again, the case in algebra. You need to know what these words mean. Okay, so divisor, dividend, and quotient. 
where, you know, which one goes where? Well, let's go ahead and answer that right now. Okay. So let's just start off with the obvious one, probably the one that people remember the, the most, and that is the quotient, okay? The quotient is the answer or the result of doing a division problem, okay? So when you divide two numbers, the answer you get is the quotient. So it's very much, it's kind of similar to this. If I have three times two, and then my answer is six, this is multiplication, so I'm finding the product, okay? So the product of three and two is six, okay? So that's the product, it's the result of doing multiplication. The result of doing division is called the quotient, okay? So if you got the quotient right, that's excellent. Let's go ahead and start with this number here, six. Actually, let's not do that. Let's start with 48, okay? So 48 is being divided by six. 48 would be uh, referred to as the dividend, okay? And the dividend is being divided by the divisor, okay? So this number here, let's go ahead and write it this way, actually. Uh, 48 divided by six, 48 is the dividend, okay? The dividend, D-I-V-I-D-E-N-D, -E I'll just write that out. And then this is the divisor, okay? And of course, we write our answer up here in this particular form, eight, this is the quotient, okay? All right, so it's pretty straightforward, but there's a few more examples I want to kind of go over. And again, a lot of people get, uh, generally, I think if they remember anything about this, they'll get the quotient right, but they'll forget which one is the divisor and which one is the dividend. And it's important, okay, because you will be asked questions, hey, find the dividend, what's the, what's the divisor, et cetera. All right, so let's go ahead and check your uh, knowledge right now. So we have 25 divided by five is equal to five. All right, so what is the dividend? What is the quotient? What is the divisor? Let's go ahead and answer this real quick. But before I show you the answer, you should think about it for about 10 seconds and then answer the question. Okay, make sure you're actually learning from this video. But let's go ahead and answer this right now. Okay, so again, this is just basically rote memory. If we have 25 divided by five, you don't know what that word rote means. That just means like good old flashcard memory. You just kind of like, you know, uh, look at, study this stuff enough times so it just goes into your memory because really it's just terms you have to, um, you know, uh, remember, okay? There's no really no fancy way to remember this stuff. I would say start off with the quotient, okay? The quotient is gonna be the result of doing division. So this is 25 divided by five. The answer is always gonna be the quotient. So five in this case right here, although we have two fives, this five right here is gonna be referred to as the quotient. It's the answer from doing division. Okay, so the larger number, the number that we're gonna divide is the dividend. So 25 would be the dividend. And then that's gonna be divided by the divisor. In this case, this would be five. Okay, so hopefully you got that right. Again, this is just basic review, but now let's go ahead and uh, up the ante a bit and give you a little bit of a twist uh, so here is a division problem, okay? This is different than the ones I showed you. So I have uh, 21 divided by four. Let's just kind of quickly review this, right? So that would be what? Five can go into 21, four. So four times five is 20. So we subtract one and now boom, we're done, right? I'm not saying the words, okay? But we're taking 21 divided by five, we get four and then we have this thing. So what are these numbers referred to? Okay, well, think about the other terms I just showed you. There is one additional twist. Hopefully you, you remember what this is. It's gonna be super intuitive when I show you your options right now. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So we have divisor, quotient, dividend, and then we have this new uh, term, remainder. Okay, so hopefully that's pretty obvious to you that the R is the remainder. This is generally the way uh, it's written, kind of like in more elementary school. You can write this as a fraction like four and one fifth. Okay, you can do that as well. So again, I just want you to um, get really familiar with the terminology when it comes to division, because sometimes when you divide, okay, you're not gonna just have a nice lovely quotient. Sometimes you have a quotient. Okay, in this case, what's our quotient? Okay, our quotient's gonna be our answer, right? So. Um, I'm gonna kind of step back here for a second because I want you to think about these other terms because the remainder is clearly this guy right here. We have remainder equals one. All right, let's go ahead and answer the final question here. So um, 21 divided by five, well, the 21 is the dividend, okay? 
it's being divided by five, that's the divisor. Our answer is the quotient, but that's four. But more technically, we also have to include um, the remainder as part of our final answer. Okay, so it's four remainder one. So sometimes the answer to a division problem will just be the quotient or the quotient and the remainder. Okay, so here, uh, if you were asked, okay, um, 21 divided by five, what is the answer? Well, the answer is gonna be four uh, remainder equal one, okay? Or four and one fifth, again, different ways to write that, but it's going to be the quotient and the remainder if you have a remainder. Sometimes you do not have a remainder as um, you know, we talked about these other problems up here, okay? You just have a simple quotient. Okay, so it's totally uh, okay if you forgot all these words, but what you don't wanna do is if you're in, again, like an algebra course or some other course, uh, you will be talking about division. You don't wanna confuse these terms. And again, it's, you know, uh, it's not that difficult. It's just something that you need to kind of brush up and review, and hopefully this little video uh, did that purpose. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need help with um, more basic math, arithmetic, arithmetic etc., I'm going to suggest two courses for you. One, um, and you can find these in my math help program, would be my math foundations course. Okay, I go over basic arithmetic uh, fractions, like a really nice little mini course when it comes to basic level mathematics. Okay, with a real focus on basic math operations, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, place values, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but if you need something a little bit beyond that, I would also check out my pre-algebra course as well. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.